Good morning, everyone. Reverend Joanne here from St. John's Episcopal Church. Welcome to our morning Stations of the Cross. Today is Good Friday, and I'm so pleased that you have joined me for this journey with Jesus. The booklet that we will be using this morning is this one, Stations of the Cross for Children by Julianne Will. If you haven't found it already on the website, it is there at www.stjohnsec.org slash learn slash children. So we'll be using this booklet with its illustrations and prayers uh, during our time together this morning. But first, let us pray. Pray our hands together, friends. When Jesus died that day on the cross, all creation together sighed, this is a great loss. Time grew empty and the afternoon dark, as the light of the world had not even a spark. The women stood by at a distance in tears, wondering what would become of their fears. Fear not, the angels soon will say. Jesus' death has given us the way. Amen. So again, um, thank you for joining me on this journey to the cross with Jesus. It is indeed a journey as it was for Jesus. That road that he traveled was very real. He had to walk down a long, hot, dusty road, carrying a heavy cross on his own shoulders to which he would be nailed by soldiers and leaders who thought that he was lying about who he was, the Son of God. And for us, the Stations of Cross are a journey of prayer we can learn from these 14 stops or stations that we will, where we will stop and pray about what happened to Jesus on the day he died. We will come to see how much Jesus uh, experienced pain and suffering that day and how very much he loves us still. So this is a prayer journey and I think it's important that we pray to Jesus and with Jesus about our feelings and about how he must have been feeling that day. Because although Jesus was divine and holy and we believe that he was the Son of God, Jesus was also a human being just like you and me with lots of feelings and I think that we can feel closer to Jesus when we talk about our own feelings and imagine how he must have been feeling on that very hard day. So let's begin. Again, if you're just joining us, we're using Stations of the Cross for Children and it's available on the stjohnsec.org slash learn slash children on our website. So let's stop at the first station where Jesus is condemned to death. And at the, at the beginning of each station, we will pray together this prayer. So let us pray it together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, you must have felt so scared when they told you that you were going to die on the cross. Sometimes I feel scared about things I have to do. I feel nervous and worried, and I wish it would all just go away. Help me be brave just as you were, Jesus. Help me to tell the truth 
and help me to do what I know I need to do. I know you always love me and protect me. Please remind me just how close you are when I am scared. Amen. Let's turn now to the second station. And remember, we're praying together this prayer at the beginning of each station. Let us pray together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, the cross they gave you to carry was so rough and heavy, it hurt your hands and shoulders right from the start. And it was so big, you had to drag it step by step. The road ahead was very long, and at the end, you were going to die. Your journey must have seemed impossible. Even so, you reached out and took the cross. Share your strength with me, Jesus, when I have to do a big project or a hard chore. I will remember how you took the cross without complaining or running away. Help me be as strong as you when I have to face my responsibilities. Help me to do my work with your grace. Amen. Now traveling on to the third station, let's pray together. I see a message that the text is appearing in mirror image for those who are watching. That is true, and you can access this booklet on the St. John's website under the Learn section and Children. Thanks, thanks for that message. Let us pray together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, it really hurt when you fell down with the heavy cross. It probably hurt your feelings too when some of the people teased you because you fell. It must have been so hard to get up. When I fall, it hurts in lots of ways. Sometimes I get a bruise, and sometimes I also feel really embarrassed. I'm glad you're with me, Jesus, when I fall to help me get back up and dust myself off. You make me feel better in every way because I know you love me and you care about me. Amen. Let's travel on to the fourth station where Mary see, where Jesus sees his mother. Let us pray together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, your mother was always there for you she stood by the road while you carried the cross, even though it broke her heart to see you hurting. It must have made you feel so much better than to see her. Mary, your mother, knew you needed her love. Thank you for the people who love me, Jesus. They make me feel safe and happy when things go wrong. I will do my best to show them how much I love them too. Please bless them with your grace and protection. Amen. Moving on now to the fifth station where Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. Let us pray together we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world.
Dear Jesus, I wonder what Simon must have thought when the soldiers grabbed him from the crowd and made him help you. He didn't know you, and he saw everyone teasing and hurting you. I wonder whether he felt scared. I wonder whether he felt bad for you. I wonder whether he felt glad he could help you. Simon's hands and shoulders made things easier for you for a little while. Thank you, Jesus, for the people in my life who make things easier for me when I am having a hard time. Thank you for the times when you have been by my side. Please give me strong shoulders and a strong heart so I can make things easier for people who need help. Amen. Let's move on to the sixth station where Veronica wipes Jesus' face, saying together this prayer. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Dear Jesus, Veronica was very brave. She knew that most of the people in the crowd hated you because you called yourself the Son of God. She knew they wanted to punish your friends, too. But Veronica saw that you were sweaty and dirty and bleeding, so she wiped your face with a cloth. Jesus, teach me how to be brave, like Veronica. Show me how to help someone who is in trouble, even if all my friends are teasing that person. Show me how to care for someone who is hurt. Even if I can't fix the problem, I can be nice and make someone feel better. Thank you, Jesus, for making me feel better when I need to feel loved. Amen. Let us move now to the seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. Let us pray. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, there are times when I really, really feel like giving up. It's tough to try again when something doesn't go right. Sometimes it seems as if the work is just too hard. Sometimes it feels as if I'm not good enough. It would be easy to go do something else. But you were able to get up again and try again, even after you fell twice. It was really hard for you too. It would have been easier to say you were wrong and just give up. But you knew how very important it was for God's plan. Some things are just that important. Thank you for showing me how to keep trying. I will remember you when I fall down or things go wrong, even if they go wrong twice. Amen. Let's move on to the eighth station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem, praying together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The women of Jerusalem were so sad for you. They cried and cried because you had to carry the cross. They were scared because you were going to die. But you told them, do not weep for me. 
you trusted that God would make everything okay in the end. Sometimes I feel very scared because I don't understand what's happening in my life. Bad things sometimes happen and I don't know how it will get better. But I know there are people who will take care of me. Even more important, I know that you will watch over me. I know I can always pray to you when I feel like crying. Amen. Let us move on to the ninth station. Jesus falls the third time praying together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, it was a good thing you were almost at the end of the road when you fell the third time. You must have been so tired and in so much pain. Some of your friends were very sad because they knew that when you got to the end, you were going to die on the cross. God the Father would make everything okay. Even though it seemed like a really sad time to your friends, you knew that you would be able to be with them in a deeper way than before. Sometimes things are like that. They seem terrible until we understand why. People who have faith believe that God has a reason for everything. Jesus, help my faith grow so that even when things seem terrible, I will trust that God can make everything okay. Amen. Let us move on to the 10th station. Jesus is stripped of his clothes, praying together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The soldiers were trying to do everything they could to hurt and embarrass you. They even took your clothes and rolled dice to see who could have them. They were not treating you like the son of God. I'm sorry for the times I have made someone else feel embarrassed. When I hurt them, I hurt you too. Please forgive me for the times when I was mean. I will remember to treat everyone just as I would treat you. And please forgive those people who have made me feel embarrassed. Help them remember to treat me and others as they would treat you too. Amen. Let us move on to the 11th station where Jesus is nailed to the cross. Let us pray. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, I can't imagine how much pain you suffered when they nailed your hands and feet to the cross. Even worse, people around you were teasing you. They said you should save yourself if you were really the son of God. One prisoner who was on a cross beside you believed in your power. Because he believed, he got a place in heaven. Your mother Mary and your disciple John were there with you too, even 
as you were hanging from the cross. It must have been so hard for them to watch you suffer. I will try to be like Mary and John when my friends or family need me. I will be there when it's really hard to see them hurt so much. And I want to be like that prisoner who believed. I know that you are with me now, Jesus, and I want to be with you too. Amen. Moving on to the 12th station where Jesus dies on the cross, praying together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, when the ground started to shake, the sun stopped shining, and the curtain in the temple tore into, some people became very scared. When you died on the cross, some of them realized what a terrible mistake they had made. They realized you weren't a liar and they went home very afraid. I have made mistakes too. I know that I need to try to fix my mistakes and do better the next time. I have to tell people I am sorry. I also have to tell you I am sorry. Thank you, Jesus, for all the times you have forgiven me for my mistakes. Thank you for the love you show me. I love you too, Jesus. Amen. Moving on to the 13th station. Jesus is removed from the cross. Let us pray together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, a man named Joseph of Arimathea was kind and brave to take your body down from the cross. He knew that some people still thought you were a liar and hated you and your friends. But Joseph wanted to show his love for you. So he carefully wrapped you in a soft cloth, just as he would do for someone in his own family. It is easy to give someone my extra things or to help them when I have extra time. It is very hard to help someone when I don't have extra things or extra time. Please show me how to give even when it is hard. I know this would make you very happy, just as Joseph must have made God very happy. Amen. Moving on to the 14th and final station when Jesus is buried. Let us pray together. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, your friends must have been very sad when Joseph of Arimathea rolled that giant stone in front of your tomb. As they sat outside the cave, they probably wondered what to do next. 
They didn't have a leader anymore. There were many people who hated them for being friends with you. They would have missed you very much. Sometimes I feel lonely. Sometimes my friends or parents are mad at me. Sometimes I don't know anyone in a new place. I'm so glad that you are always by my side, Jesus. I know that you are always my friend. I will never be alone. I want to follow you, Jesus, as I make my own journey through life. Amen. Thank you, my friends, for coming along on this special journey this morning to follow Jesus. As is our tradition, we will finish this service of Stations of the Cross in a very simple way by simply hearing a hymn that we would hear together if we were in church together. We'll sing this song, Jesus Remember Me, and then our service will be completed. Jesus. 